But then you think about uh, Austin, where you had a FedEx plane almost land on top of a Southwest plane. Uh, you think about Honolulu, where it was clear that, or not clear, but most likely the pilot error caused a near uh, fatal dive into the ocean. You think about JFK, where the same thing that happened at Boston happened. You say less experienced people. Uh, there's a lot of discussion that the FAA ha is lowering their standards to meet equity and diversity uh, quotas. The airlines are also making these big pushes and possibly lowering their standards as well. Can you lower standards and not put public safety at risk? Um, well, there's always been standards with the FAA. And let me speak from a pilot perspective. I can't talk from an air traffic control perspective, although, as we can see, air traffic control has been uh, been the heroes in all of this. Um, yes, there's a certain threshold uh, that I'm a firm believer that we get to that lowering the standards is not going to help safety. We do have those standards in place, and they will stay in place. Um, what we're lacking is the kind of experience that I had uh, when I got hired. You know, I sat, for instance, right seat uh, as a co-pilot for a period of time until I could experience what it's like to be a captain and and see how other captains reacted badly or, or, or well, uh, as was most of the case. Um, so I had that kind of experience under my belt by the time I put on the fourth stripe and became a captain. It's limited now. Now, a lot of these folks are, are getting out of uh, the flight schools and, and, and getting into commuter airlines and flowing very rapidly into uh, jet positions and uh, with the airlines and then moving over as captains with a lot less time than I had when I got hired. And I got hired and I, and I got into the left seat very quickly relative to the time period. I wish anything you said there made me feel better, <laughs> made me feel better. <laughs> uh, and, I, and I think about, you say there's been a number of coincidences, you know, once, right. one, once is an accident, twice is a coincidence, three times is an enemy action or is a trend. And we've got six here. Right, uh, right. How is, this, how is this not a trend? Well, um, <laughs> It, it, it's hard to define. We, you know, we have to define what a trend is with the FAA. I, I think that with the media attention, uh, you know, what's what's occurred, um, runway occur incursions, uh, everything of that nature, these potential close calls is getting some scrutiny by our FAA administrator. There's no doubt about it. What are we doing potentially wrong? Is it a coincidence? Is it something that requires additional attention? I, I, I got to bring this up, though. You got the FAA that their their big change under the Secretary of Transportation has been changing notice to air men, which is a, a way of communicating with pilots, to notice of, to air missions. As right. you look back at your time flying 34 years as a captain, is the singular focus on safety that used to exist the same today, or do we have our, our regulators, the people responsible for keeping all of us safe, worried about the right thing? I believe it is. I absolutely believe it is. I know it is among my colleagues that are still flying. Uh, it's a very important part of safety. Uh, you know, I keep in touch with my, my with with the union that uh, that I belong to when I was employed by my airline, and, and I can tell you from that standpoint, absolutely they are. All right, fair enough. It's good to see you as always. Thank you. My pleasure. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.